8.47 a.m., United 175 is 50 miles northwest of New York City when its transponder code is suddenly changed. As I look up, I notice that United 175's code has changed. I just turned around and radioed the pilot. My exact words were, United 175, recycle transponder squawk, the code that he was supposed to be on. There was no response. At the time, still not a thing to be worried about. Hijacker Al Shahi obviously intended to turn off that uh, transponder, but because he just changed codes and didn't turn it off, he still left the controllers with a very clear indication of the normal return from an aircraft that was squawking, that's what we call it, with the altitude. Now as I'm watching, United 175 makes a hard left-hand turn and starts climbing. So not only did he make a sharp turn, but he also climbed 3,000 feet in a matter of approximately one minute, which is a very fast rate of climb. This is something that we have never seen before. And I immediately turned to the manager of the facility and I said, I believe I just lost United 175. Around 8.55 a.m., United 175 is now descending from the south over New Jersey when it has a near collision with a Delta flight. The controller who was working the pilot of the Delta yells at him, take any evasive action necessary. We have an airplane, we don't know what he's doing, any action at all. This is stuff that you would only see in the movies. The United 175, the hijackers were heading towards the city. We were counting down the altitudes, and they were descending right at the end at 10,000 feet per minute. That is absolutely unheard of for a commercial jet. It is unbelievable for the passengers in the back to withstand that type of force as they're descending. They're actually nosing the airplane down and doing it, what I would call a power dive. 9.01 a.m., United 175 is hurtling at more than 400 miles per hour toward the Statue of Liberty and New York Harbor. A manager at New York Center calls the FAA's command center in Herndon, Virginia. We've got a terrible situation going on here. It's uh, escalating big, big time. And we need to get the military involved with us. We're involved with something else. We have 